Good morning, beach bums. Today, I had a different plan, and I kind of audibled once I got outside and realized how bad the wind was, which it's not bad here, but it's blowing about 15 to 20 miles an hour, pretty, pretty much 20 miles an hour on the beach right now. So I had to kind of change my game plan on what I was going to do. Uh, you really are limited on opportunities like that. I mean, I could have done some set rig fishing, which is kind of what I had planned to do today for, for some sharks, but uh, I just didn't want to deal with it and so I changed my mind. I'm an opportunistic fisherman, so I took advantage of the situation, took advantage of the fish that were there, and uh, had to make an audible on the video choice today. But hope you enjoy it. Had a good time on the beach today. Check it out. There we go. Okay, he darted in on me. I don't know what it is. It ain't jumping yet. That's a good sign. It's staying down, it might be a Spaniard. I've seen some nice Spanish jumping, some, some really nice fish. No. No, a blue runner, that is not what we want. There's a fish. Fish out, fish out. I'm seeing so many Spanish but I haven't hooked up on any. There we go, there's a Spaniard. There's a Spaniard. First Spaniard of the morning. And, and there's, been, there's been some really nice ones out there. We're gonna hang on to these guys today, so. That's all right, we're gonna grab them. We're gonna bleed this guy, hang on to him. Let's see if we can get some more. Getting a lot of bites right here. I think I think a lot of them are Spanish. There we go. Got him. Ah. <laughs> I saw a Spanish chasing this lure and getting rolled in that wave right there. That was wild, man. There was like three or four of them. All on it. There he is. Oh, goodness. This one might be another blue runner. These, these guys pull pretty hard. Oh no, nice Spanish. Nice Spanish. Yes. I've been seeing these big ones jump. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. Woo! He's mad. He's mad. Real nice Spanish. I popped his gills there. That's how I bleed them. I just pull their gills, blood runs out. But beautiful fish, man. They're so cool. Good to eat fresh. We got a couple. I changed over. I, I didn't show you this morning because it was still kind of dark, but I had an ounce and a half diamond jig. Changed over to just the one ounce. A Lit, little different design, different brand, but this is the Gotcha diamond jig. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> this thing smoked it. Oh, he's coming in fast. Coming in fast. Might be. Might be a Spanish. Might be a Spaniard. There we go. Man, it hit it and took off. Dag up. Another pretty Spanish. 
smaller. This is like the average size out here, it seems like, up close to the beach. But I've been seeing some big ones this morning. This morning, I'm using one of my steelhead rods. This is my Star Aerial. It is an eight and a half foot medium soft, I think. I think it's medium soft actually, but the lure weight is a quarter ounce to three quarters of an ounce. I'm throwing a one ounce diamond jig. I've got it rigged with 30 pound monofilament to a swivel. My main line is braid and it's, what is my, it's 10 pound test braid on a 2500 uh, pin Pursuit 2. Real light tackle, it's a lot of fun. The length of this rod allows me to cast pretty far and I can really, with these diamond jigs on a day like today, blowing 20 miles an hour out of the east I can still cut through that wind which is nice it's a really fun thing to do uh, when you just you know it's a t conditions are terrible today they stink really windy it's it's not pleasant being out here you're getting sandblasted but you can still come out here and fish and throw artificials if you want to if you approach it the right way and still catch fish you know you can have a lot of fun but I wanted to cover my tackle and go over that I know a lot of you guys ask but uh, really I, I don't know if I've ever shown you throw, using steelhead rods to come out here and throw these diamond jigs but it's actually a really stellar setup to use for it there we go oh yeah oh yeah I can see it in the wave oh just got rolled in the wave nice Spanish nice Spanish good fish there we go man it's uh pretty much every cast right now they have definitely they have definitely turned on pretty hardcore look at this guy they're such a beautiful little fish I love the spots on them silver pretty cool on a really windy day like this and uh rough surf i mean the wind's blowing steady like 20 miles an hour honestly i don't even know how good this audio is going to turn out I'm doing the best i can but uh throwing heavy lead is like one of your only options on a day like today i mean you can you can fish set rigs of course it's not that bad Woo! it's every cast right now every cast you can fish set rigs but uh just kind of a booger you know i'd rather come out here and do something like this in this kind of wind this thing is running if it's a spanish it should be a pretty good one. Oh, he's foul hooked i think hooked him in the head in the head there are no size regulations for spanish in the state of alabama uh you can only keep you can keep 15 per person on a day like today you can see that that could probably happen very quick i think i've already kept like five or six fish i don't even know <laughs> so when they're when they're running at school like this you can definitely hammer them but you can keep any size um but you get uh, you get some decent meat they're easy to clean good fish as long as you eat it fresh but they're a lot of fun Darn it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, did he spit that? Dang it. That guy came off. Most likely a Spanish. What happens with these Spanish, they're usually chasing these lures from behind. And, you know, these, these fish are like uber fast. So, like, when you hook them, you immediately are are, are 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 behind like you're <laughs> trying to catch up to that fish because it's coming fast hits the lure and uh keeps coming and it usually it's already faster than you're reeling so it puts a lot of slack in there and then when you're using these diamond jigs they're heavy so you get that slack in the line and that heavy jig they shake that head once or twice and it's bye bye way out there most of them have been like right by the beach hopefully it's not a ladyfish maybe it's a bigger spanish be a bigger spanish bigger spanish come on 
It's not jumping. He's not jumping. Oh, oh. Darting around. I'm a little scared now. It might just be a ladyfish. Some of them haven't been jumping. What is that? I can't tell. Oh, is this Spanish? Is this Spanish? Looks like a better one. Yeah, this one's definitely a better fish. Man, he like smoked it. Yeah! There we go. That's a fatty. All right, I'm gonna have to walk him down to my cooler because uh, Fred is on the prowl. Fred's down there thinking he's gonna get an easy meal. Thinking he's gonna get some Spanish food today, but no, he's not. Another decent Spanish, got some good meat on this one. Having a lot of fun out here today catching these fish on the light tackle, the steelhead rods. Uh, it's pretty fun throwing diamond jigs on them because uh, they just have a lot of flex to them. <laughs> he's trying to bite me. But man, what a blast. What, what a fun thing to do on a day that's like not, not ideal. Turned out to be a good morning on the beach. I was this close when I walked out here early this morning and the wind was blowing like it was to turn it around and go back to bed. But I'm glad I hung around and uh, just made a day of it because it was, it was actually a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun throwing diamond jigs. It's a lot of fun having these Spanish just smoke it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Really helps me out. Guys, really appreciate it. And as always, you stay bummy.